And when did you realize your time in Detroit was coming to an end? Uh, you know, just talking to, uh, at the time, talking to Bob Quinn, you know, uh, mm-hmm. honestly, I knew I had to get up out of there because, um, man, me, like I said, me and Manny P was not going to never see eye to eye. You know, yeah. I would it, never did it, did it start off that way with you and Patricia or did it eventually yeah, it, get to it that It started level? off like that, man. It started off like that. And, um, why do you, you know, think? I don't know, you know, cause he, he felt as in a way that the time I went to go work out with, um, it was me, Sherm. We all did like a little deep. Sherm set up a little DB camp for uh, mm-hmm. for the NFL players. So me, Sherm, uh, it was Xavier Rose, Tlaib. You know, mm-hmm. I was a guy that just coming off my first Pro Bowl. I'm going to be around these kind of, I feel like, you know, some super, some future Hall of Famers. Guys no that question. was very talented. Tlaib, I feel like was for sure one of the best for like eight, nine years easily. Yeah. Sherm was sure at the top of his game for like six, seven, eight years too. So yeah. I'm going to, you know, learn, you no know, question. trying to get better. And, um, you know, so I got back to OTAs after, I mean, after OTAs and all that, after camp, when camp started, I had reported to camp and he came in there and brought me into his office. Our first meeting, he said, um, Hey Slay, man, you know, uh, I, ain't, I, I don't think you should have been working out with them guys that we play against this year. You know, cause guys like Marvin Jones, all them guys got to see you got, they got to play against them. I'm like, what, what they got to do with me? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, what they got to do with me? And he was just like, you don't think them guys are trying to figure out what you, what what kind of technique them guys do? I'm saying, what? man, these are professionals. If they doing their job, they gonna know what he's doing. You know what I'm saying? So, no question. And then, so what we're really tricked off is because he said that was my first, that was my first Pro Bowl. He was like, and he basically hit me straight up to their face and said, honestly, I don't even really think you even in their category. You know, huh? so I'm like, yeah. So I'm like, what? I'm like, you know, so after that week. It was like, I like, all right, man, I gotta get on out of here. Like, you know, I gotta get on out of here. I like, man, me and you don't got no kind of talk. We just we business partners. What do you need me what? to do to help this team win? I'm gonna win, I'm gonna do it. You kept and it that's professional. How I yeah, I respect that, homie. You kept it professional, but you telling me Patricia just came out and said what he said, which clearly didn't make any sense. You're working out with defensive backs, corners that play the same position you play. And like you said at that time, these guys were in the top tier. Of oh, the they positional game. group. Yeah. You you learning from them along right. with them probably learning from you. It has nothing to do with y'all wide receivers because y'all wide receivers wasn't even there. Yeah. Like what they go, like, what is they gonna do? Like, I'm like, he his hey. his philosophy was just you know, I don't know, you know, you've been in the league long enough. You know how the Patriot world feel like everybody it's, it's a little weird. Some <laughs> of them it's like it can, be, it can be a little weird. Yeah, they're a little weird. They be just think everybody find a way to cheat and all this kind of stuff, man. Got cheat, man. <laughs> hey, don't say that word, boy. That can open up Pandora's box. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man, it was weird, man. And I was like, man, this dude, this dude weird. So I just like left it alone. I said, man, I talked to him. We had a man to man talk. Yeah. Hey, we don't, because he's like, don't ask me about my kids, my family, how I'm doing, bro. Just, just coach me. Football. Keep it football. Just tell me what I need to do to help y'all win. And I'm going to do it. And I'm going to get my best ability. And I told him I promise him that. And that's it. Like, yeah. we ain't cool. Because, like, he was trying my, my like, you know, he trying to belittle me. Like, yeah. you know, yeah. like, so, like, nah, he can't belittle me. Like, I know I work too hard for somebody to belittle me. So, nah, we ain't, we ain't click at all. Wow. Wow, that's that's crazy. Yeah. Man. Well, it didn't last long for him out there in Motown, so. No, nah. and last time I checked, you still doing you still doing numbers. So yeah, and I told him after I made my second one and then my third one, I said I, I, I'm back to back. You know, three more times, two more times. You know, Pro Bowl. <laughs> That's what you hit him with. Since since, since I ain't uh since I'm in, in that category, you know, I told him what like, was yeah. his what was his response? You know, he just you know it went to directly to him. It just to yeah. myself and telling him like yeah yeah I was motivated to make let him know like I'm like that. You know, no I, I work too hard to not be like that. And uh, so it was just motivation for me to go out there and really trying to dominate a game. Well, look, here, it worked out well for you then and it's still working out well for you now. Question for you. How sweet was it to score against the Lions? Man, man, that's probably a good. It was sweet, man. But, you know, I really wish Manny P done was there. I ain't gonna lie. I was probably <laughs> through the ball all week. I probably threw the ball in the stands and all kind of mess. Ran up on the hall up and down the sideline. Every kind of crazy mess. I probably... I would accept any fine the NFL wanted to give me that day. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. but, uh, you know, it was smooth. Um, it's no hard blood with them definitely now. Cause you know, like I said, Matty P ain't there. None yeah, that So, uh, I got enough of respect for that coach over there for doing what he's doing. Cause I'm, um, you know, hearing his interviews and hearing how he talked, man, I know that team got a lot of heart, a lot of passion, mm-hmm. you know? Um, uh, so 
I got nothing but respect for them guys over there for sure right now. So I just kind of just kept it simple, you yeah. know, got love for the D when they see the score. I, I probably got more cheers than when I scored than, than anything. Cause, yeah, the cause still I was probably going to get booed. I did. Yeah. It was like, slay. So I'm like, yeah, oh, they still man. rock with you. They really love me. I like yeah. I love y'all too. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you left you left a good impression for all the fans there in Detroit, even though you're playing for the Eagles. So they still rock with you. Yeah, they they mess with me heavy. 